Hey everybody, welcome in. This is Love Goddess Tarot. My name is Maureen. Welcome to my channel. Today's pick a card love reading is going to look at who is your next boyfriend. You have four cards to choose from. So sit back, relax, get comfy, get cozy. Let's see what comes in for you today. What card are you drawn to? Which energy are you feeling drawn to? Um, if you are drawn to more than one, by all means, listen to those. Listen to your intuition always. Um, that comes first. And this is meant to be fun. So have fun with it. The messages that are meant for you will come to you and leave the rest behind. Okay, so let me give you a closer look at each one. Group number one, you have the magician. Group number two, you have the Two of Cups. Group number three, you have the Lovers. And group number four, you have the Ace of Cups. Okay, so take that moment, see what you're drawn to. The timestamps will be below so you can skip ahead. It's one, two, three, and four. Hey, number one, you picked the Magician. Here's your reading about who is your next boyfriend. The Knight of Swords reversed. The Fool. The Ten of Pentacles. And we have two overall cards, the strength and the three of wands. Wow, beautiful. Okay, um, so let's take a look at your reading. Um, I'm going to start here because there's lots of energy about taking a risk, going for it with this person. Um, I do feel that... Um, you may have in your past dealt with someone or dealt with some energy of air sign energy, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, or just someone who wasn't really straightforward, somebody who maybe had a problem committing to you or someone who was like, you know, reaching out and talking and then withdrawing, reaching out and talking and withdrawing. Um, the universe is sending this person, this beautiful energy to you. And part of this is um, your own manifestation. Part of this is you going on an adventure. Part of this is you being willing to take a chance in love, okay? I see you leaving something behind over here that wasn't working or that was stuck, or maybe it's even just stuck energy. Um, but in the present moment, I do see the opportunity here for this connection. Part of it is... Um, really letting go and taking some sort of chance. There's some sort of chance, some sort of adventure, something new about this. Um, with the Fool card, it's all about a new beginning. It's about being willing to go for it, willing to take a chance. And that's right under the magician. So I feel like there's a connection there. This also can be Aries energy representing the person coming in or someone involved in this connection. Um, we then have the beautiful Ten of Pentacles. So it looks to me like there's going to be a lot of family support around you, around this connection. Um, this person could be very financially stable, come from maybe even a wealthy family. This is someone that really likes to take the advice of um, older relatives, okay? Um, this could represent you as well, but this is just this stability that is around this connection, okay? There's this beautiful, like, the dog and there's a beautiful house and this person is getting advice from someone that they really admire okay um i'm really focused on the grapes here so hmm maybe somebody owns a wine company or something having to do with grapes um and the outcome we have two beautiful cards in your outcome we have strength and we have the three of wands the three of wands really gives me more um information and more confirmation about you guys meeting in some sort of um, travel or some sort of um, some sort of like adventure 
something is changing. There's definitely movement around the two of you and fire sign energy, Leo, Sag, Aries. We have Aries here. We have Leo here. We have Leo, Sag, Aries here. So um, this person's definitely coming through with a lot of fire. You may also have fire. Um, you could be a fellow Leo, but this, this strength card is really showing me that you're both really, really strong people and that you're going to be like very balanced okay um i feel like you are coming back into a very strong period in your life this can be a time of really good health good fortune um and i think that this person could live at a distance um and they could be making their plan to come see you um, or there could be travel involved for the two of you in order to be together Okay, but this is coming through as something that is going to really be supported by your family. This is someone who um, might live at a distance, might be slightly, could even be from a different country, but could be someone that just has like a little bit of a uh, travel to get to them. Um, but you're going to have a lot of support around you, okay? This person has a lot of support around them. I feel like they come from a very strong family. And I feel like you're leaving behind someone who is kind of a... Uh, all talk, no action. Okay. That's what's coming through in the past. So that's over. And we're moving towards someone who is your equal, who's going to show up and be solid, who is planning and who wants to be with you. Okay. Who's willing to do whatever it takes. And I do think there's going to be travel involved in this connection. Okay. But yeah, it just feels really nice because you have like that, that fiery adventure, but you also have the stability of um, that Ten of Pentacles, which is just so solid. We have the Ten of Cups reversed, and I do feel like some of you may have felt like you had met the person that you were meant to be with. Some of you may have had even gotten married, had children, and had um, ended a relationship in the past. Or, um, you know, maybe you, like I said, maybe you were dealing with somebody that wasn't following through on their words, okay? But this person follows through. This person, if they say that they're going to come visit you, they do. If they say that they are going to move closer to you, they will. Okay. Who is your next boyfriend? The well. Okay. Yeah, I think some of you really need an encouragement about going for it. And um, I think that maybe you have been a little bit reclusive when it comes to relationships, maybe because of a ending over here. But this person draws you out. This person makes you want to do fun things that you normally wouldn't want to do. Yeah. So there's some sort of like defensiveness at first with you that you have to kind of learn to not um, learn to trust again. I feel like there might be um, a little bit of learning to trust again because of past relationships. Yeah. Um, because of a past ending, which could have been a broken engagement, it could have been, um, you know, somebody not following through that their plan, somebody saying that they're going to be somewhere, having to cancel something um, has led you to be a little cautious. Okay, let's see what. Yeah. And for some of you, you may have stayed, stayed in a place that wasn't good for you for too long. Okay. And there was a, there's a feeling of needing to be that unstuck, which is why you got the full card. It's like the universe really wants to move you out of wherever you are into a place of, of freedom. Wow. Queen of Swords. Yeah. Just being really honest with yourself, being honest with the people around you, opening up, speaking your truth. You're coming through as this beautiful Queen of Swords who is Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. She is someone who speaks her truth, someone who is really honest, who's really direct, um, and who's got who's got her power okay because you're coming through as a queen he's coming through as the magician so you guys are equals which is what that strength card you're both very powerful people 
Yeah, there's been definitely some sort of release for you, or you're in the process of releasing a difficult situation or a difficult like thoughts, depression, um, feeling stuck, that eight of wands, confidence, getting your confidence back is coming through. Um, dropping your defenses is coming through the need to kind of take do some sort of trip do some sort of movement take a risk is coming through wow okay so look at this the perfect match we have the king and queen of swords you're a perfect match um so this could be Gemini. This could be a Gemini. You could be a Libra. But, um, you know, both being really direct, both being in your power, a king and a queen, a perfect match, balance, that strength card. Um, you're bringing out each other's strength and you're very direct with one another. I love this. Look, you both have birds on your shoulder. You're both like and you know what's interesting? You guys are the perfect match. You're letting go of, of all of this difficulty of past relationships of hurts. Um, you're being, you know, more open. You're willing to take a chance with this person. And I love this. See how she's looking down and he's looking straight. Remember I said that I felt like you might have to, you know, learn to trust again. You can trust this person. He's being direct. He's speaking the truth. Okay. The king of swords is speaking the truth. Wow, king and queen, that doesn't come up very often. I'm so excited. So very well matched. You can really talk to each other. You have great communication between the two of you. This person's going to do what they say. Okay, so trust that. Ooh. Maybe there's even a connection through family. Maybe you could even meet through family or a family business for some of you. Wow. King and queen. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Ten of Cups. That could be that past family issue. Okay, you had Ten of Cups reversed. Maybe there was some hurt in your past in terms of your family. Okay, um, and so you need to heal that in order to be able to move forward. Chemistry. There is a strong magnetic attraction. Yes, I would say so. You guys are so well suited. This is beautiful. I feel like this is something you have really wanted, really. And like, it's a deep wish. Because we started with that beautiful magician card. Okay, your overall, you got strength twice. Wow. Okay, so this card's really important. You've got strength twice. Um, do not turn down any offers that will change your future. Whoa. Okay. Yes. Do not turn down any offers that will change your future. Okay. Look what's coming. Take the risk. Don't turn down any offers. This relationship, this connection is powerful. This is your true mate, okay? Ooh, I love it. This is big. Two strengths. Okay, there could be Leo involved here. Um, but this is a big opportunity for you, and this is going to really empower you and change your life. So go for it. Follow the advice of the Fool card and really go for it. Virgo, there's the magician. Where is he? Get him out here. Okay, we had Virgo come through again. Mercury, which is what the magician is, Mercury, which is why it's Gemini and Virgo usually represented. Someone who's a great communicator. Mercury can also be Gemini, the queen or king of swords. Um, and the first house of self, of being your true self, speaking your truth, the queen and king of swords, the Virgo energy of the magician. This is a magical connection that's going to empower you. This is something that's going to change your life. Um this person is your true mate, okay? This is going to bring you power. This could even elevate your status because there could be a wealthy family behind you, behind them. 
Um, healing your family issues is going to really help you connect with this energy by letting go of whatever that past was, that past hurt, that past disappointment. You move towards this beautiful connection. Okay. Wow. Let's see what Aphrodite says. I'm going to pull you one of my cards about your connection. The King and the Queen of Swords. Major life change. Woo! This is a biggie. I mean, the magician pile is definitely living up to the hype. Swans, Aphrodite's bird, soulmates, best friends, partners, true love, number two, love that will last forever. Yes, this is it. This is true love, a true partner. The king and the queen of swords, the strength card, twice. This is big. Okay, wow. Now I'm going to do a charm reading for you. Let's see what the charms have to say. This can be a little loud, so if you have headphones in, you might want to turn the volume down. While you do that, I will remind you to please like, comment, subscribe, hit that button. It's free. It's easy. And after you do that, hit the notification bell, and you'll be notified every time I post a new video. Okay, um, if you want to connect with me, the link to my website is below. And um, as always, tips and donations are very much appreciated. You can do it here with the heart thanks, or you can go to my website, which is even better because then I get 100% of the proceeds. Um, and you can donate there using PayPal. Okay, here we go. got the sword the king and queen of swords there it is wow so oh you got libra which is the queen of swords and the balance the balance of the strength card Ooh, we have the sun which is leo energy the strength card vitality health happiness shining this can also be about patience okay um you have the moon, which is an emotional connection, a new beginning. We have the sheep, which can be about dreams, connecting in dreams. Um, could also be Scotland, wool, something about sheep. Maybe you just love sheep and it's a message for you. I heart softball, which can be, you know, someone who loves athletics, somebody who's on a team. We have the beautiful dove of peace about movement and change. You did have that fool card about taking an adventure, going, taking a risk. The peace sign, okay, healing family issues. So there's that peaceful healing, the big open heart, open your heart up for love. This is a big love and coming home, coming home, traveling home, home, family, the 10 of pentacles. Um, this is the sea turtle. Okay. Sea turtles go home to lay their eggs. So, hmm, interesting. Someone might be traveling back home. So that's your reading for today about who is your next boyfriend. This is big. This was really, really amazing. Please, if you're claiming, write your comments below. Let me know. Say hi. Let me know where you're listening from. Hi to all my friends in the States. Hi to my friends in the UK, in Canada, in the Philippines, and uh, where else? Everywhere. <laughs> France. Um, mm, gosh, everywhere. I have just so excited when I hear it from you guys and you say hi. So thanks for doing that and enjoy the rest of your day. Looks like you've got some exciting love ahead. I'll talk to you soon. Hey, number two, here's your reading. You picked the two of cups and it was funny while I was shuffling um, after number one's pile, um, the four of pentacles came up a lot. So Hmm. It'll be interesting to see what is going on there. It could be about the need to release, not be um, too controlling or protective, um, letting go of something, maybe a financial situation. But let's see, because, you know, twos are always about choices. OK, they're about couples. Um, obviously, we're looking at who's your next boyfriend, but um, they're also about choices. So let's see what happens. I just wanted to let you know that that did come up quite a bit when I was shuffling. Who's your next boyfriend? 
Okay, so we have the Five of Swords, giving up, letting go of the fight, the battle. Okay, we have the Page of Pentacles reversed and the Two of Wands. Ooh, and the Ten of Cups, beautiful. We have the Three of Pentacles under the Five of Swords. Some partnership not working out, a group dynamic not working out, um, someone not being on your team, really, okay? Yep. There's definitely some movement, change, and choice, leaving something behind. And it looks like right here you're dropping the swords, the fight, and leaving a situation that wasn't really... Um, productive you know you're in a situation in the past maybe where someone wasn't really working with you you weren't building anything together um but you're moving away from that and changing your life letting go yes all of these swords letting go of this conflict of this difficult energy of the past um and the bottom of the deck is the five of pentacles reverse. So there could be money involved. There could be something having to do with um, self, you know, confidence, a sense of worth, maybe a job loss, something like that. Um, but what I see here for you about your next birth person is that you are really leaving behind some difficult energy. Um, the six of swords is a movement card. It's about moving away from um, past difficulties and moving towards something much happier and more stable. Um, I thought there was going to be a choice point here and, you know, kind of a with that two of cups, you know, like a crossroads um, decision time, making some decisions, making some plans. I see that this really has been weighing on your mind for a long time, this this other situation. Um, but what I also see is that you're letting go of that and you're making plans for the future. You're leaving something behind. Um, I see a connection to movement, to change, to maybe even a, a job change that connects you or a move that connects you. There's something that you do. Um, you let go of an old relationship, an old job, an old um, situation, people around you that um, there's just a lot of conflict and you're giving in and giving up and saying, you know what, I'm done. Um, this hasn't been productive. You're not on my team. We are not able to build something together with that three of pentacles. And what I see coming for you in the future with this future relationship is a person who you can build something with. This is an extremely, oops, let's get the focus in here. Hello, there we go. <laughs> We're having focusing difficulties. Um, this is the beautiful Ten of Cups in the outcome for you, um, which is all about emotional support, happily ever after. This can be family. This can be having kids or creating a family together, joining your families together, having a child, having children, having puppies and cats and you know whatever you consider your family creating a life together of emotional bliss and happiness that's what's coming for you you're leaving behind a lot of stress you know being up at night worrying about things you know i feel like your past relationships have given you a lot of anxiety or you're just not being in a relationship has given you anxiety um and you realize the need to move on to try something different which is what the two of wands is so i think you're really close i think you're in the process um it's interesting because i don't feel so much energy of um, immediately who the person's coming. We do have some indication here. Uh, we have water sign energy and fire sign. So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo, Sag, Aries. Um, I'm leaning more towards the water signs. But um, your reading today is more about you letting go of some difficult energy. Okay, and letting go of things and people that aren't aren't building a life that aren't, you know, worth your effort because you're not getting you're not getting your effort. You're not getting 
you're not getting what you put into um, a connection right now okay and so it's time to move on it's time to release it's time to let go which is probably why I saw those four of Pentacles reverse so much when I was shuffling there's something about you making a change it could even be a job change or it could be a relationship that you're st you, that you're staying in or that's causing you a lot of anxiety um, that could be connected to money you know there could be money problems there could be control issues, possessiveness. Um, this reading is really more about you making plans, releasing that um, negative energy, m moving away from the trouble, you know, dropping your sword. Sometimes giving up is the best option because waiting at the other side is a beautiful connection, which you deserve. Okay, so know that you have this coming. Know that this is possible in your future. Um, and just... Start planning, start dreaming it, start imagining it, okay? That's really your message here today. Wow. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Yes, exactly what I said. It's like... Instead of staying up at night worrying about someone who isn't worth it, use that time to do your prayers, your visualizations, okay? Because someone is coming, and this is kind of you planning it, you thinking about it, you manifesting it, okay? Beautiful. What a great message. Okay, um, let's get you an overall. The lovers, oh, yay. You have, there is an approaching conflict that will test your values. You are going to have to make a decision between love and career. Oh, there's the four of pentacles. There's the decision. Here's the love. Here's dropping it with people and things and work situations that aren't worth it. Conflict situations. Wow. This is amazing because the lovers is the choice card as well. The two of cups lovers is all about choice and partnerships. And this there's an approaching conflict, five of swords, the six of swords and values, which is all that pentacle energy page of pentacles reversed. Okay. Here's you worrying about this conflict. Probably this is something that causes you anxiety. You are going to have to make a decision between love and career. How interesting. Wow. Okay. That's wild. Please write below if you're connecting with this. Um, I would love to hear your stories because this is very specific. Okay. And if this doesn't work for you and you're not connecting, um, you know, try another pile. Okay. Because this is very specific. This message today. Group two needed this message. Your Aphrodite card. Oh, number one got this as well. Swans, Aphrodite's bird, soulmates, best friends, partners, which is two of cups, true love. Number two, love that will last forever. And here we have love that will last forever. We have soulmate in your angel message we have the two of cups the best friend all of this connects okay so this is beautiful i do see that you're going to have to make some sort of choices coming up it may for some of you be connected to work it may be connected to your values it may be connected to someone who is you're in conflict all the time or something to do with money possessiveness okay but know that you can make this decision and that you have this beautiful energy ahead of you. Okay, so that should help. Ooh, wow. Oops. There's the 10. 10 of uh, Cancer, which is cup energy. Family, happiness, emotional satisfaction. 10 of cups. 
10 cancer also the 10,000 astrology is work and career and you had a message here with the lover's card about a choice with work and we have the north node of destiny of karma of soulmates this is your path okay you're calling in a soulmate this is big energy it um there is a choice point coming up um but know that you'll right, make the right decision. Go with your value and putting yourself first, okay? Because you deserve the best and the best is waiting for you, okay? Because you want to change this energy of the Nine of Swords about love to this energy. Which would you rather have, this or this? I think we'd all rather have this. So you're doing it. You're calling in your soulmate. I love it. Love it. So we do have cancer energy coming through, which would be the water sign. Cancer Pisces Scorpio that I did see over there. Okay. Wow. That is intense. Now, I'm going to do a charm reading for you. This can be a little loud. If you have headphones in, you might want to turn the volume down. While you do, I'm going to remind you to please like, comment, hit the subscribe button. It's free. Write all your comments below. I can't wait to hear all of your connections and stories. If you're interested in a reading, you can go ahead and check out my website. Um, tips and donations are greatly appreciated. Here we go. What's coming in? Who's your next boyfriend? Number two, who is your next boyfriend? It's soulmate energy. Number two. Okay. So, over here we have the shamrock, the good luck, good fortune, a change in fortune. We have the moon card, that emotional connection of the Ten of Cups, which is really connecting with someone emotionally. You have the family tree, the growth, the opportunity for making something lasting, building something together. Um, you also have two anchors, which can be that water sign energy, wanting to anchor to one another. Um, but it also for you, because you had the message of the Six of Swords, which is about moving on, pulling up anchor and going somewhere else. This could also be a connection for you. Um, there is Capricorn coming through. You have um, the carrot with the rabbit, which is interesting because it's like, is there some sort of carrot that's keeping you going in something that you should leave behind, okay? Because you definitely got the change and movement card, the moving away from something troubled towards something better. So, you know, there's a lot of you that have to leave something behind, a person, a place with that Six of Swords. You have this dog, which is protective energy, loyal, companion, best friend, which you have right here with the Aphrodite love message and always heart, which is soulmate. You have calling in your soulmate and soulmate here. So we are getting real soulmate messages for you today. You have this beautiful energy that you're moving towards. There is a change and there is a d decision that has to be made, okay? But you are moving towards this beautiful soulmate energy. Okay, that's your reading today. I can't wait to hear all your stories. I will talk to you again really soon. Have a great one. Bye. Hey, number three, you picked the lovers and the lovers card is not only about, you know, soulmate energy, true love, romantic love, a partnership. It's also about a choice. And what's interesting is, um, when I was shuffling after group two's reading, um, a lot of wands were coming up, nine of wands, reversed and upright, eight of wands, um, and, I was really feeling this energy of um, a choice movement, a lot of fire sign coming up. It'll be interesting to see um, what comes through for you. Okay, so that's fire sign energy would be Leo Sag Aries. Let's see how those wands kind of play into it. Who is your next boyfriend? Number three. Ooh, there's choice. Right off the bat, we have the two of swords. 
kind of feeling like you're between a rock and a hard place. Ooh, okay. We had a couple jump out. Let's see how many. We have two. Okay, so we'll take them. Wow, and they're both wands. Speaking of wands, we have the King of Wands under the Lover's card and the Page of Wands. Lots of inspiration, movement, inspiration, fire sign energy, and a choice maybe from the past. Okay. Hmm. Number three. Who's your next boyfriend? Wow, Seven of Wands. <laughs> I told you the ones were coming up a lot. Okay, so let's see here. What's going on? Seven of Swords under the Two of Swords. Somebody being dishonest, somebody lying, somebody who was a cheat, somebody who betrayed you perhaps in the past someone you had to let go of or someone who you had a difficult time trusting or a difficult time with four of cups and it's reversed so mm, this king of wands could be someone coming back for another try maybe you were in a connection with the sword energy sorry about that um what I was saying is maybe for some of you, you were in a connection with the sword energy or you were um, dealing with a difficult situation with someone who wasn't being honest with you um, and you missed an opportunity with this king of wands. That's possible because, you know, the four of cups is about being disinterested, missing an opportunity, focusing on the past, not being in the present, but it's reversed and it's underneath that king of wands. So I do feel like this person could be coming back or um, making another attempt, or um, even if they're a completely new person, it could be that you're paying attention now. You were very distracted. You had a lot of things that you were dealing with before but this is right in the present so i do think this energy is happening now which is very very exciting and i definitely want to get that point across with the wand energy there's there could be travel there could be leo sag aries we have the king of wands we have the page of wands and the seven of wands the seven of wands is about um you know kind of being a little bit defensive but let's see what comes up here the Six of Wands, wow, under the Page of Wands. The Six of Wands is not being successful. It's somebody who tried but failed in the past. I do think that for you, and if you don't want <laughs> to hear about old energy or someone from the past, then this is not your pile. I would try another pile. But this is a fire sign energy who's who's may have not gotten through to you before and who is now, okay? And we have the World card. So... Yeah, this is a big moment. This is a big moment of completion. This is a big chapter of your life. You're kind of letting go of, of and you're going to drop your defenses when it comes to this person and you're going to let them into your life. This is a big moment for you. Um, this person is coming through as a Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, someone who... Um, somebody who inspires you, somebody who is very passionate about you, somebody who really, really loves you and has probably tried before. Um, you were defensive, but you're dropping your defenses. And this person could be a big chapter of your life, a big part of your life for a while to come. They could live at a distance. They could be foreign. They could just be um, someone you meet in university or meet traveling. Lots of wand energy. So that's telling me that all those wands I saw when I was shuffling were coming through. <laughs> it was giving me a little preview of your reading, okay? Um, yeah, so the Ace of Pentacles reversed is like an opportunity that you missed or um, needing to let go of something that, you know, it's hard for you to let go of. I feel like there's someone in your past that you're having a hard time letting go of, but this person wasn't honest with you. They lied to you. They were dishonest. They might have betrayed you. You can't trust them. So letting go of that is actually a good thing. Okay, look, Queen of Swords, be brave, speak your truth, get clear about what you want. Okay. 
you could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Also, that can just be a message about being direct, dealing with this sword person head on, getting rid of them. Fool. Yeah, you felt like you were made a fool of. Okay, so that's why you're a little hesitant to take this leap of faith. Um, but look what's at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> the Ace of Wands. <gasps> oh, this is a beautiful, romantic opportunity. You're going to have a lot of fun with this person. They could be connected to you through friends. This could be an old friend. This could be someone you've gone out with in terms of in a group setting before, okay? This person is going to bring you passion and excitement and romance. This is a great opportunity. This is a new opportunity for love, okay? So take it. The universe is giving you this beautiful gift. Take it. You're going to have to let go of something else in order to have your hand ready for the new opportunity. Okay? But this is not really... This isn't really... This past energy is not stable. It's not... You think it is. It could you maybe financial reasons you're together or something like that. But it's not. Okay? It's time. It's time for you to focus on love. Yes, there is a choice. With the lover's card, there's a choice. The two of swords, there's a choice. There's something you have to let go of. Yep. That's what's happening here. And this king of uh, wands is amazing. The king of wands is so kind. They're warm. They're funny. They're fun to be around. They're, a, they're an adult. They're mature. They're a king, you know? heart-to-heart -heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other yes being honest is going to be so important you know based on that past history that i see here with that seven of swords you know you might have to have a difficult conversation with someone from your past in order to let go of this and move towards your future Here we go. Wow. Okay. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship right here. Right in the past. There's the seven of swords. This is dishonesty. This is a false mask. This is someone lying. The ace of pentacles not being truthful. The two of swords reversed. Maybe not not ex dealing with it. I think you know it and you're not dealing with it. Okay. And separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. That's this energy right here. This is letting go. There's that, that pinnacle release, dropping it. Okay. Because you have to move towards something healthier, something better with someone who you can trust. Okay. That's the most important Wow. Look at this. Lust. Aphrodite's weakness. Desire. Reckless. Fickle. Obsession. There is less first than love. Hmm. I wonder if this is a physical relationship or was a physical relationship and what you have coming is love. Going from just physical to emotional. I'm going to pull you one more. Friday, Aphrodite's day, relax, date night, dancing, bar number 40, you'll have the best first date, yes, it's fun, it's dancing, it's fire sign energy, it's go outside of what you're doing now, let go of something that isn't giving you joy and fun, this person's coming in to give you fun, to be warm, to give you that beautiful inspiration, that romance, that love, okay, wow. We've got two, the moon and the hermit. The moon, there is a challenge approaching, taking the form of either a new creative project or a conflict in a relationship. Wow. Here's a creative project. There's conflict. Your history will reveal the best course of action. <gasps> oh, my God. 
and the hermit. There is someone who can help you through all your problems. This person is yourself. By understanding yourself, you can better understand others. Wow. Yes, you have all of this, all of this, you know, wisdom inside of you and trust it. Okay. You're coming to the end of a cycle and the beginning of a new one. And it's time for you to really trust yourself. Okay. A lot of times the moon is about fears. It's about insecurities, about intuition. It's about things that might be, be happening behind the scenes. Um, there is a challenge approaching and conflict over here. And, you know, the message is to look at the past and learn from it. Wow. Okay. In addition to their Sag, I was going to say, in addition to the fire sign Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, we have Sagittarius, Mars, which rules Aries, third house, friends. I'm telling you, this is somebody that you're friends with or in your friend group, okay? Or someone you meet out when you're with friends. I felt the friend connection for sure. Okay, now, mm, that was intense. Please write all your comments below and let me know if that's you. I want to hear what's happening. Um, I'm going to do a charm reading for you. Well, I talk to you, lower the volume if you have headphones in, if noise bothers you. If you haven't done this before, it can be a little loud, okay? Um, a couple of things, program notes, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell once you subscribe so you're notified and can watch my videos as soon as they post. Um, thank you to everyone for supporting my channel. If you'd like to leave a tip or donation, thank you so much. Um, there's a heart thanks button here, right on uh, this, right here, right on this video for YouTube, or um, you can go to my website. My website, I get 100% of it, so I really appreciate that. That's the better route to go, but but either way, whichever you're comfortable with, thank you, thank you. Um, this is a free channel and all donations are greatly appreciated. Um, if you are interested in a private reading, you can get one. I offer a few during the year at different times, different types. Right now I am opening up for private readings as well as shout outs. So go to my website, check that out, book yours. And um, finally, just thanks for being here. I love you guys. Thanks for all your beautiful comments. Say hi. Let me know where you're listening from. Let's see what the charms have. Yeah, this is really a fun one. This is wild. Okay. Okay, wow. I love it, love it. So we have a lot of money and wealth. This is that King of Wands energy. That can be a gift that's expensive. This is someone who's very, very generous. Um, you have the sword. Speak your truth. Cut off people that are not good for you, okay? Have those open, honest communications. Make those decisions. This is clear thinking. Um, you have the good luck. Good fortune is coming, okay? This is beautiful energy. This is a ship. This is a Viking ship. You could be traveling. This could be part of that wand energy. Someone that lives at a distance, meeting while traveling, meeting on a ship. Look, you have not one but two starfish. Oh beautiful. The star card in tarot is the card of healing. It's the card of really um, connecting with God, with the universe, with your true path. Um, it can also be with the starfish healing from like, you know, a past trauma. Okay. Um, you have the anchor, which can be a boat reference, but also anchoring. It can also be pulling up anchor and leaving somewhere, something, someone. There's the magician energy. You have the power. You can do this. You can manifest this. Um, that's also Virgo energy and Gemini coming through. You have the angel wing of protection. Ooh, look over here. We have the pineapple okay someone loves pineapple this is welcome this could be hawaii um we have the coffee pot or teapot family going out going out to eat a restaurant a connection to food and we have the umbrella protective energy someone that's there for you through the storm 
Wow, <laughs> this was quite a reading. I can't wait to hear all of your connections. I hope this helped you and I am sending you so much love and I'll talk to you really soon. Hey, number four, here's your reading. You pick the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is usually an indication of a new love, a new opportunity from God, from the universe for love, for romance, for emotional connection, for emotional fulfillment, for happiness. So this is exciting. Um, while I was shuffling the deck in between number three and your reading, um, Knight of Pentacles, an Ace of Pentacles, a couple of Pentacle messages came through. Um, that would be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, male energy, and also possibly a work or um, money connection. So I just wanna throw that out there because it came up a couple of times. And let's see what comes through now for you. Who's your next boyfriend? Number four. Okay, we have the Queen of Swords reversed. The Seven of Wands. Ooh, Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups came up once before today a lot of love in the air <gasps> there's the knight of pentacles wow okay we see you again i saw you when i was shuffling there you are and he came up reversed this time hmm. the hanged man Taking a pause, stepping back, something to think over, maybe someone who's very stubborn. The devil, wow, okay. Being connected to someone or something that isn't good for you, an obsession, codependency, unhealthy relationship. Five of Pentacles reversed, wow. Definitely not feeling good, maybe having lost money or feeling abandoned by someone. The King of Pentacles reversed. Wow. Okay. Wow. So I think the Pentacle energy is the person that you are either leaving behind or having a difficult time with. Um, I see this opportunity for love coming here, this beautiful energy of the Ten of Cups. There is the Ace of Cups. Here it is in the Ten, which is a beautiful, loving connection with someone that could lead to family, to long-term commitment. Um, I see you having to step back and make a decision that you're having a really hard time making. The Queen of Swords is confused. She's not direct. She's not speaking her truth. Maybe you're holding a lot in. Maybe you have had a confusing time when it comes to love. I see a lot of defense here. I see you protecting yourself from maybe a past hurt or an unhealthy connection to someone or something. Um, but the universe is bringing in this beautiful Ace of Cup energy in the form of a beautiful, committed, happy, loving relationship. This could be with a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is someone who's going to help you get back to feeling strong. You're in the process of releasing this sense of abandonment, this sense of um, maybe financial, you know, maybe you've gone through some financial strain or stress or feeling um, financially unstable. Okay. Okay. Um, and it could be connected to this, this relationship that you've been really worried about or protecting yourself from or trying to get away from. Um, it could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn male energy who is um, not kind, not stable, who's bad with money, who is not committed, um, who, you know, doesn't support you, who maybe felt maybe made you feel less than 
okay so i see that happening but what i see this you moving away from that towards this beautiful energy with the ten of cups so the ace of cups is probably this water sign person coming in who's going to bring you that stability help you build back your confidence i see you letting go of this devil energy and protecting yourself from it um you're moving towards that okay and this is in the not so not distant future so i do think you're in the process of releasing this energy this difficulty and getting back on your feet whether it's financially whether it's psychologically but i do see this beautiful loving energy coming in for you um which makes me really happy because this looks tough i can see that you've you know had a hard time with it and you've been confused taking time to figure it out stepping back is the answer because you do have the hangman the hangman is all about taking time to pause taking time to really think about things okay um get yourself strong block anyone who is unhealthy who is making you feel like you're not valued okay anyone that makes you feel insecure and if you've been struggling financially, I see this person helping you with finances and getting you back on your feet. But there's definitely some male energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, who has either not been there for you, is unstable, is not good with money, is not committing, um, is just not being generous. But you have that beautiful cup energy coming in. So that is a big shift. Take the time to really focus on yourself. Get clear about what it is you want. Speak your truth. Protect yourself from this devil energy, from anyone who's toxic, any unhealthy connections. Um, you do have this beautiful, loving energy of a water sign. Taurus, for, ta, tor, Taurus excuse me. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio coming through. You're releasing someone who didn't value you. Take the time to yourself to think about what it is you really want in your life, who you want in your life, and cut off and protect yourself from anyone that isn't worth it because you do have the opportunity for love. You just have to build your self-esteem back, build yourself back financially, um, rely on yourself and trust yourself, trust your intuition. Protect yourself from this negative energy because you do have that positive energy. I see you moving towards it for sure. Wow, beautiful. I'm so happy to see that you're moving towards a better place financially if some of you are suffering financially, but also if you're suffering just in terms of like self-image because of someone, um, just know that you have something so much better up here. Okay, that's in the past. But I, I see that you're seeing that. I see that you're working on that. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Yeah, this person is worth it. This water sign energy is worth it. This pentacle energy is not. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Maybe that's what you're really thinking about. For some of you, there might be pressure to stay with this person. Maybe you're married and your religion doesn't believe in divorce, or um, maybe your family is really strict about things, and maybe this person has a different background, okay? But don't let that lower your own feelings or change how you feel, okay? trust this situation is calling for you to have faith yeah i'm sure it's hard to have trust because of what you've been through i definitely see a lot of energy for some of you that's really difficult so trust is part of a healthy relationship and with the devil there there wasn't trust you know let's see but with the ace of cups and the ten of cups oh that's a beautiful connection. That's something you can really, really trust. Ooh. 
Cancreas, Aphrodite's rival, competition, frenemy, enemy, opponent, number three, love is being blocked. So maybe there's something here that's blocking you, or maybe a little warning about someone that's supposed to be a friend. Maybe it's this queen of swords who's giving you bad advice because they don't really want you to succeed. So that could be a Libra, a Gemini, Aquarius, or someone with a sharp tongue, someone who's kind of sarcastic. Just be careful. Okay, plus you also have that pentacle energy over here reversed. Trust yourself. You've got this. Ooh, mint, Aphrodite's herb, fresh, calming, tingle, healthy. Number 31, get ready for the kiss of a lifetime. Yes. Um, and look, the back of the deck, honey, Aphrodite's nectar, sweetness, innocent, natural, childhood. Number 16, this person brings you joy. Yes, the 10 of cups is so joyful. This is true emotional fulfillment and happiness. I love that healthy is in the description here of mint because we're moving away from that devil energy, which is unhealthy. De the devil is, you know lower vibration of the lover's card because the devil has the devil holding two people into some sort of bond it could be some sort of karmic debt that you're repaying it could be something um that that's from your past that you're releasing um but the lover's card is an angel bringing two people together it's divine you know so you're releasing something difficult give yourself a break take the time that you need okay listen to your own self not bad advice from people around you um there could be someone around you that's pretending to be your friend that isn't and um take the time with the hangman to really think things through okay you do have beautiful energy coming through i wish you good luck Okay, you have the hermit. There is someone who can help you through all your problems. This person is yourself. By understanding yourself, you can better understand others. Yes, trust yourself. Get yourself back. Get your strength back. Get your confidence back, okay? Don't listen to other people. Focus on your own intuition. Wow, very powerful message for you today. You have Libra, sixth house, Mars. Okay, so Venus, energy, love, romance, Libra uh, could be coming through. We have Mars, which is action and passion. That's Aries energy. And we have the sixth house, which is work, health. That's also Virgo energy. Um, it could relate to everyday activities, to health and wellness, to pets, those can all be connected to this love, to this new energy coming in. Okay, so now we're going to do a charm reading. If you haven't had a charm reading before here at Love Goddess, it's a little loud because I have a giant teacup with my charms in it. So I give you a chance to turn the volume down if you have headphones in because this can be kind of loud. If you're sensitive, you might want to do that. While you do that, please remember to like, hit the like button, comment, write all your comments below, subscribe, hit the subscribe button, it's free. Um, once you subscribe, hit the notification bell and then you'll get a notification whenever I post a new video. If you'd like a private reading or information, go to my website, the link is below. And um, donations and tips are very appreciated. Thank you to anyone who has made one. I really appreciate it. You can do it right here with the heart and thanks button. Or better yet, it's much better for me if you do it on my website because then I get 100% of the proceeds. Okay, so if you choose to do it that way, you use PayPal. So thank you so much to anyone who has. And thank you if you're planning on it. Okay, here we go. Number four, who's your next boyfriend? Number four. Okay, you have the bugle or the trumpet. Um, it's a musical instrument, a horn of some type. So there could be a musician out there, a connection to music. You have the feather 
which can be a message from God, from the universe. You might see feathers as a sign. Um, we have the star, which could, which can be healing, or a snowflake, which could be winter time. Um, here's the heart and separation, or the world, or travel. This can be traveling, soulmates and separation. You also have the cactus, which could be something about the desert southwest here in the States. Um, the butterfly transformation and change. Yes, there's a beautiful butterfly moment coming for you. You have lo I love you forever. This is soulmate energy, but also someone who's dedicated. Um, this is Virgo energy and also someone who does intricate work. Somebody who's, you know, does something very detailed. You also have the tree, the family tree, support, family support, growth opportunity for growth growing something together you also have the anchor the anchor can be a connection to water to a ship it could be um anchoring to someone you know someone that you want to spend a lot of time with um you might have an anchor tattoo anchors could be something you like in decoration um, if you have a personal connection always go with that these are just some of the ideas and the things that come through for me with the charms okay so, wow, lots of messages here today. I can't wait to hear all your stories. Write them all below. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you haven't yet. And remember, I've got great content. Check out my other videos if you're interested in getting more about your next boyfriend. I've got a Who's Your Next Boyfriend playlist. I also have some great um, new readings coming out this week, including um, a message from your future partner and um, which I really loved. I just posted that and also your next chapter in love. So check those out. Okay. I am sending you so much love and I'll talk to you soon.